I must say, First Minister, that um, I feel a, a, a very deep uh, emotional attachment to Britishness and to Welshness, and I, I do believe the Union is much more than a constitutional arrangement. That's the first uh, remark I'd make about uh, uh, the attitude you're taking to uh, undoubted needed constitutional reform. I do welcome uh, reforming our Union. I think it is an interesting document, and I give it uh, two cheers broadly. But there's a very big flaw in it, and that's the handling of the concept of sovereignty. Now, sovereignty, in, in terms of conceiving uh, uh, political associations, is the trickier, trickiest concept in political philosophy. But it does require really deep thought, and we can't avoid uh, doing this because it, it has very practical consequences. We see that in much of the Brexit argument at the moment. So I think. You know, when you say um, in, in the document it is uh, accepted that sovereignty, some of which should be shared, lies with each part of the UK. I think you need to be really careful about syntax here. It lies uh, in each part of the UK. I don't have a problem with that because I do think our institutions should be embedded. But it also is embedded at the UK level, and that's a crucial uh, distinction. I note that your distinguished predecessor uh, wrote last week, I quote, end Westminster sovereignty and give it to the four nations, end quote, for which presumably some form of pooling for defence, foreign affairs, macroeconomic policy and the like takes place. But uh, I cannot support this concept because it is not a federal principle. It is a mistake to see federalism as characterised by such radical decentralisation Rather, federalism seeks to create a central and effective sovereign authority, albeit one limited in scope. 